Sun is on its way up out there for you this morning and looking beautiful across central and eastern Kentucky. You can see that sun with the light of day now on the way for us here on this Monday morning. We are right now tracking temperatures, though, that are on the colder side for a lot of folks sitting right at the freezing mark. Lexington being one of them, just below it. 32 in Frankfurt, 32 Mount Sterling, 32 in Danville. But to our south and east, still holding on to some of those 40s. I mean, there's a big gap. I mean, you look at Harlan at 44, and you compare that to Lexington, which is one of the colder places around, and you've got 14 degrees that we're swinging there. So uh, you're going to find uh, a lot of that until that coldest air mass that we have available completely reaches every stretch and every inch of Kentucky, and it will. It's going to take its sweet time. But by the time we get to the peak heating hour, later today, it's not going to be quite as extreme. So what we have, we don't have precipitation, so what we do have is another secondary frontal boundary behind the main action, which brought you some of those showers you see that are out to our east right now. That will continue pressing through, and as it does, our numbers will fall because of it. So they'll stay down. So we'll get the dose of the colder air mass in here in the next few hours, and they'll keep uh, daytime highs in position to stay on the chillier side. As we move into the future, you're going to see that uh, later today, upper 30s, low 40s for afternoon and evening readings. Now, that's not much for folks in eastern Kentucky because that's where they're sitting right now, so they don't go back up very much at all. Tonight could be a colder one, low to mid-20s for the early parts of the day, and then low 40s for daytime highs on Tuesday. So it's two days in a row that are at that level of chill here in Kentucky, and then we go beyond that, and we get you into Wednesday, and then that's when our numbers will start coming back up, at least briefly. I think a good shot of low to mid-50s will be with us on that day. And so it looks pretty good out there overall. Very comfortable stuff, but we're out ahead of a system. That's why, and our numbers are going to stay up because of that. You look at the temperature trend here, and you can see how they go up, and then they go right back down again. So this is just a barely, just a little bump that's in the forecast here for Wednesday and Thursday. Thanksgiving Day probably starts off a little milder, but because of some showers around, it's going to knock those numbers back down. It's a frontal boundary. The, the front comes into play and changes everything up for us. I'll show you that right here, the extended forecast. We go hour by hour. Here comes the front. There you see the showers that are attached to it. And this is about mid-morning on Thursday. Showers are with us, and then they keep going. At the end of it, though, we start making the transition over to a little rain and snow mixing in together, and that'll hold on for a little while there as we round out the rest of the week. Here's your full seven-day forecast. And as we start looking ahead here, you, you can see our numbers, you know, going up and down, as I mentioned just a minute ago. But then uh, overall, just uh, an action-packed forecast beginning with Thanksgiving and beyond, guys. All right, Jay.